what we're going to be needing to make our tutu today um, is going to be any kind of tool on the bolt. So it doesn't um, have to be red, it can be any color. Um, some scissors, or your stick or measuring tape, elastic, we're going to be using um, safety pins, and the safety pins are to pull the elastic um, through the tool. And I like to use these big ones because they're much, sorry, they're much easier than the small ones. I feel it's easier and I can do it a lot faster. So, um, two safety pins. If you don't have the large ones, you can use the regular ones. I always, you know, did. We're going to need ribbon, and I believe this is um, satin ribbon, and it's double-sided, but it doesn't have to be double-sided um, if you don't have it. And a lighter to burn our ribbon. And the tutu set that we're making today is going to be 6 or 12 months um, tutu set, okay? All right, guys, so the tutu set we're going to be making today is going to be 6 to 12 months um, tutu set. So I have six yards of tool that I have already cut. Um, I'm going to be using six um, yards of the ribbon as well. Then I'm going to be using 15 inches of, um, maybe 14, of the um, elastic. Can't so those, those are the measurements for the 6 to 12 months tutu so let's get started I'm, I'm gonna list them also um, in description and in comments and then I'll pin it and um, yeah so let's go over to the sewing machine and let's start um, getting to work all right guys so this is the tool and there's going to be two pieces so we're going to separate the two pieces all right, so I have the two pieces here. I'm going to take one and lay it on my chair. Then the other one here, I am going to be folding it directly in the middle. Let me show you guys. So it's folded directly in the middle okay so it's folded directly in the middle you want your ends to touch now we're going to take it over to our sewing machine and we are going to sew right down the side um, enough space we're going to leave enough space we're going to give it and um, we're going to sew it right down along the stem here and we're going to make sure that our elastic fits here so I'm going to take you guys over to um, the sewing machine. I had to stop the camera because as I started to sew my casing I realized that my thread was um, white thread because that was from the last ribbon trim tutu I made and um, not red, so I had to stop the camera and re-thread my sewing machine. So um, I just wanted to show you that I'm at the end of the first um, piece of tool, which I already sewn and backstitch. Now at this point, you can fold the second um, batch of tool in half and overlap it with that in there. Or you can just finish that off and then continue on to the second part of your tool, okay? So what I'm going to do, 
since I'm trying to make this um, video beginner friendly because it was requested by one of my subscribers I already backstitched and I'm just going to finish this off like this I'll leave it like that I'll cut the string later on and then I'm going to line this up evenly into the machine like this I'm going to make sure it's where it's supposed to be lined up on here I'm going to stitch forward my back stitch Remember, make sure you're um, you're even on this end here, okay? guys so I cut the end of my ribbon let me trim it a little bit okay so I'm gonna burn off the end of my ribbon like so And this is the, what is this? This is one and a half um, double-sided satin ribbon, okay? So I burnt off, and I'm hoping I have enough because this is all I have. So I'm praying, so. I don't know. It's like the last couple of tutus that I made needed um, white. All right, my love, so now it's time to add the casing. I mean, not the casing. Now it's time to add the ribbon. So I just wanna show you, you see how the casing, and this is where the, or la, um, where our elastic is gonna go in here. And you see how it opens up. So we want this part right here where the elastic goes to be facing up. And then we're going to put this part of the tool down on the sewing machine like so and you see the casing is facing up we're going to get our ribbon this is double sided ribbon um, if it was one sided ribbon you will want the pretty side going facing up okay all right so now we're going to take our ribbon this is the casing is facing up and our tool we're going to lay flat on the sewing machine I'm going to take my double sided ribbon and I am going to line it up according to the numbers here which I already know more or less um, And make sure that your ribbon is lined up on here. And I'm just trying to straighten out the tool out. All right, so now we are going to this side is done. I hope you can see me because the sun shifted. Um, this part is done. Now we're going to add the ribbon to the other half of the tool. So now before the casing was up, now as you see right here, the casing is going to be facing down. So here's the casing and it's facing down and we're going to lay the ribbon Sure. 
Okay. We're gonna lay the ribbon under. We're gonna lay our ribbon down first and then we're going to lay the tool on top. And we're gonna do this side exactly um, how we did the other side. And I'm gonna pray that I have enough um, enough ribbon. Okay, so I ran out of ribbon. My ribbon came in. So now I'm just gonna add them together. What I'm gonna do, I'm going to overlap this ribbon right here just a little bit over the one that um, that was already in there. And it is double-sided, so I didn't have to worry about um, what you call it, um, having the right side. back stitch and here we go folks make sure that your tool is lined up I'm making sure because this has been sitting here for like uh, two days <laughs> All right, guys, so now that this side is done, this is the one side we just did. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip it so that the um, casing part is up once again and we're going to lay, and we're going to lay the ribbon down on our sewing machine with the tool on top, okay? And don't forget, Okay guys, so as you can see, I um, sewn the ribbon and the casing on both piles of tool. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take our elastic and we're going to measure it. So my tutu is 6 to 12 months, so I'm going to cut my um, elastic at 15 inches. Alright, so for this part, what you're going to be needing is a ruler, some kind of measuring tape. You're going to need the elastic. You're gonna need scissors. Now, once we cut our elastic and we overlap it about maybe an inch or inch and a half, you're going to, there's some people that hot glue it. I don't really like doing that. I either hand um, sew it so you can grab a needle and thread and just move the tool over and I'll show you. And you can just sew it or you can just run it through the sewing machine. Most likely I'm just gonna run it through the sewing machine instead of sewing it by hand. So let's go over and measure out our elastic. All right, so we said we need to cut 16 inches. Well, I'm gonna cut it 15 inches because I just um, always take an inch away. So we're gonna do six, um, sorry, 15 inches. And if you guys need a measuring chart, I can try to put uh, upload one, but you can get one off of Pinterest and that's what I did. So 15 inches is here. So we're going to cut it there. Okay. Just double. I always like to double check. All right, guys. So if you see that. It's so now what we're going to do, we're going to take our safety pins. And as I showed you in the beginning of the video, that I prefer to use the larger um, safety pins only because I feel that I can um, push the the ribbon through the casing a little faster so 
I always take two. So you want one at the end of your tool, um, at the end of the elastic, so when you push the tool through, it doesn't come out of this way. So the way that I've learned to do that, I just kind of poke it in one side, and then, it's like crocheting, push it out through there, okay? Haven't crocheted in a long time. Okay, so then it looks like so, if you guys can see. And I learned that that helped me from stopping the tool from coming out because it won't shift. Then I take my second safety pin and I poke it through the top of my elastic like this, kind of like to look like a pencil of kind of or some kind of stick that you can just push through. So the end, this end will look like this and this end looks like this. So now what I'm doing, I'm just taking the pin and I'm pushing it in through, pushing my tutu, or the pin through my tutu, yeah. I'm trying to do it this way so that you, uh, my hand's not blocking the camera. See, so now once, once it gets there, I pull the tool over and now I'm just sliding it to the ends of my pin. So now as I do it, I'm just sliding it. Just don't pull too hard, you don't wanna rip anything. And now as you can see, let me try to do it like this so my hand's not blocking. I just continue to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna go sit down and continue to do this. All right guys, so now I'm going to come, it's the light, okay. So I'm going to come over to the sewing machine and I am going to sew these two together by overlapping them about an inch, an inch and a half. So this is our tutu. So we have to um, have to cut that string right there from my tutu. All right, guys. So you see, our tutu is done, but we still have where we sold, where we stitched that. So this is our opening here. So you just want to make sure that you just take the tool and you just push it out so that you can cover where you ended up stitching. Okay, so this is it. This is our tutu. See how cute? And fluffy. Where's the, oh. So yeah, this is the tutu. This is our All right. trim tutu that we just made. It was so easy. I hope that the video was beginner friendly. For everyone, um, I, I'm going to make a few other different um, videos on ribbon trim tutus and the regular tutu um, as well. So this video was just pretty much showing you how to make this super cute, adorable, fluffy tutu. So this part, like I said, is was just the tutu part. Now I'm going to go over and I'm going to make the t-shirt with you. The onesie, I should say, which is going to be the Grinch onesie. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you to share it. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in comments below. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And make sure you hit subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Yeah, and I will see you at the next video.